Hey guys, Jelly here. It's the same day as I recorded the other video, but it's not going out the same day, so you don't know that. Now I just told you, but who cares? What we're gonna do today, it's sort of kind of a new maybe series, depending on if you guys actually like this. We're gonna do some reviews. Five reviews. That's one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I should start with my thumb. Some people do that. I don't know. But we're gonna do five book reviews. I would say in five minutes, but I don't know. Probably won't take that long. Never does, does it? Okay, let's get started. These are the books we're going to be reviewing. I'm holding them like this because the camera doesn't fit them all and I stack it right here. It's really great, but it's also not great at all because it's just from the thing that I'm recording from. Okay, if you haven't noticed them yet, I'll just go ahead and tell you the books right now. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. First book, one of my favorites, Anthem by Anne Rand. She, kind of crazy, I mean, she started like her own religion thing called objectivism, which is basically screw everyone else, you're the real important person here. Um, hopefully no one's going to shoot me for saying that, hopefully none of our viewers are objectivist. But yeah, that's, that's that one. I'll give you, don't worry, actually I should say, I'm going to tell you the books before I do the reviews, so uh, that's why I'm not doing the review right now. Don't worry. Next book, Da Vinci Code. Ooh, shake, 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 shake. Shake so you can't see the thing. Oh yeah, Da Vinci Code. Yeah, woo. Dan Brown. I really liked this book for a long time. It was my favorite book for a long period of time, but it's not. It was apparently a worldwide bestseller, it says on the cover, so that's an achievement. Go them. Next book. Watership Down. Not actually done with this book. Almost done with it. I'm on like the last, the very, very little last bit. It's um also really fantastic. Then again, all these books I think are pretty fantastic or else I wouldn't be reviewing them. So, um, yeah, there, there's that one. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. It's, um, you know, Mark Twain, classic American novelist guy. He's, he's good. If you haven't heard of this book, then you know nothing. And you've probably lived under a rock for literally your entire life. Um, so good job if you don't know what this book is. So, yeah. Awesome. Last book. The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Well, we're just going to be doing The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because I haven't actually read all of them. I've only read the first one and the part of... The second one, which is called The Restaurant at the End of the Universe. But this one has five of the six books in it. Um, there's another one called The Salmon of Doubt, but we'll get to that um, later. It's um, the first book that we're going to be review. Review. Okay, so let's see. Anthem, Anne Rand. Short book. This is actually like double the length. I would like to hear. Let me see if I can find the page. Yeah. Here, this is like the middle of the book, and this is the actual book, this side. And then this side is like the original edited version or something. I don't really understand it. I never looked at it because it's hard to read. Because it's got a bunch of scratches because it's supposed to be the original edited version or whatever. But it's really, it's super short. It's like really, really short. So you can read it quickly. It's good. It's a good read. My friend says it's terrible because he hates Anne Rand, but I like her. She also wrote Atlas Shrugged, so that's a much longer one. She probably wasted all her time on that one and was like, hey, let's make another book that's really, really short because I still want to make stuff and let's name it Anthem. Yeah, that sounds good, right? Okay, so Anthem is about this one guy, I forget his name, I could look in there, but I just recorded and I don't want to go looking for it now, but, um, yeah. It's about this guy who lives in sort of a creepy, sort of afterworld society, clearly it kind of infers that the world ended basically and they had to rebuild society, but it was like crazy uber communist, and everyone is we, like they can't use, like I, they can't use that as a pronoun, they all have to say we, so it's really confusing when you read it because he refers to himself as we instead of I, like he's like, we did this today, and we went and farmed today, it's really crazy, but 
it kind of helps the, I don't know, ambiance, would that be a thing for a book? More, I think environment is the word. That's what it would be. Environment. Envi environment helps the environment of the book. But what this thing is actually about is that he, obviously, is like the one person who actually realizes this society is kind of weird, because he wants to be a scholar, which are basically the inventor smart people. But he gets assigned to be something really stupid, a street cleaner. Yeah, gotta hate it when you're a street cleaner instead of a scholar. But, so he goes and, like, finds a cave or a hole, basically, and sneaks down there every night when he's supposed to be sleeping, because they have sleeping houses and schedules and stuff, and literally invents electricity. Like, you know, potentially one of the greatest inventions of all mankind. But when he goes to the scholar meeting, there are a couple cities and it's meeting in his city this year. They're, I should say, they're not really cities. They're like towns, but they think they're cities because they don't know any better. Um, sorry. Uh, sidetracking. Don't worry. If you don't know already, I sidetrack. Sidetracking is the best. But he goes meeting scholars. They reject him. They throw him in prison. Yeah, prison for inventing electricity, that happens. I hate when they imprisoned me for inventing electricity. God, that was really, uh, that was terrible. Yeah, really, really bad. Okay, well, I forgot a thing. He falls in love with a woman who's a farmer, I think. And uh, they can't be together because they basically just have mating houses to control the population output and stuff. But he and her run away after he escapes prison and find this house in the forest where they... It's like an old house, one of our kind of houses. And they... they discover the pronoun I... It's crazy! And then they have children and discover... Oh, I'm not gonna tell you. I, I, that's the spoiler at the very end. If you really want to know what happens at the end, I could just show you. If you if that happens to go on the last page of the book and you pause it perfectly at the right time and somehow read it, good job. But I'm not gonna spoil that. There are gonna be some spoilers in this video if you haven't noticed, but not too many. Next book, The Da Vinci Code. It's really long. Um, I also don't know the pages, but I'm recording, so I'm not gonna go look at them. I forgot to look at the pages. But this book is, it's not actually set in, like, old times, it's set in modern times. About, uh, this guy, like, Robert Langdon? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or if that's even the name, I didn't look in it. I just kind of am getting all this from memory and hoping that I'm right. You should correct me if I'm wrong with any of these books in the comments, in case people actually are using this as a valid resource, which they probably shouldn't. Um, just correct me in the comments. Yeah, that's a thing you should do. Good, go do that. But it's sort of the theory, this book, it, is this book, it's the theory that Jesus, like, had a, had a child with Mary Magdalene. Oh, I know, scandalous. Scandalous, ha ha. But yeah, so nobody knows if it's true or not. Probably isn't. Maybe it is. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna take a side because I'll probably get shot down if I take a side. So I'm not gonna take a side. And it's saying that this person that he meets may actually turn out to be like the descendant of that child. <laughs> Mind blown. I think I just spoiled the book. Sorry. Don't forgive me on that one. Okay, next book. Watership Down, about rabbits. Don't, just hold on a second though. Don't diss it, just don't diss the rabbits. They can hear you in your sleep and they will come and find you if you diss them. So don't diss the rabbits because these rabbits, they are so amazing it sounded like I said soak but they're super amazing it's just a normal size novel too by the way it's not crazy long it's just relatively long it's not like you know a war and peace which I have and I'm not going to do a review on because I haven't read it and I don't want 
don't want to mess with my mind at too young of an age, so probably won't read it anytime soon. But Watership Down, this is really great. So people are saying that there's some kind of hidden like property meaning behind it, but literally this one has um, a thing by the author who is Richard Adams. He's a good author, obviously. And he specifically says that this is just a story that he made for his kids over a long period of time in like the car one day or something. And he was like, wow, all these other books are really, really crappy. So I'm going to write this down. And it has absolutely nothing to do with some deeper meaning. It's just a story about rabbits who have to go and find a new warren, and society. But like I just said, it's about rabbits who escape their old warren because it's kind of, it's not really bad, but there's this, like, it's a, here. It's about a main character named Hazel, not a Fault in the Stars connection. This was written way before the Fault in the Stars. Um, it's, yeah, nef definitely no, like, thieving from that. If anything, they thieved from, from this guy who made the first name Hazel. But he, Hazel has a brother named Fiverr, which is a weird name because the rabbits can only count to three? I didn't get it either. Don't ask. But Fiverr has this like, weird feeling that some kind of great evil is gonna come, so then they leave with a bunch of other rabbits and go found a new warren. And they go without any does, which are female rabbits, so that's part of the adventure. They have to get female rabbits so they can have... I have something in my eye. They can have... Oh, I still do. Babies, baby rabbits, which are called kittens! Rabbit kittens! Okay! Adventures of the Tom, Tom Sawyer, not the Tom Sawyer. Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Mark Twain, Tom Sawyer. Spasm. Yeah, Tom Sawyer. All American, all American boy. All boys. I would recommend reading this. It's really good. It's about just the adventures of a boy, but it like not sort of philosophical or anything. If you want something philosophical, you should read the sequel to this, which is The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. It's like, I switched sides. It's kind of more in-depth and you need some more understanding to read that one, but this one, this one is just fun, entertaining, old American life, what it was, it's a pretty good documentation. If you were a kid in that time, what you would probably be doing, it's a really good I, I would recommend this one. It's not long. It's like 200 pages. I, I for, Yes, I know the pages for one. Yeah! Pages! Booyah! 200. And four, I think, specifically. I would like to personally admit that I'm wrong. It's 203. 203 pages. I'm sorry for upsetting you guys. Last one! The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams! Yay! He is a comedic author. This is in no way, shape, or form a serious book at all. It is very amusing, very hilarious, actual lol, laugh out loud moments, where you will just be like, oh my god, that's so funny! Funny. You're gonna rub your face. It's so funny. But it's about this guy named Arthur from England who then moves to America and this other guy named Ford Prefect, which is apparently a car that was in England for a long period of time because he thought that the inhabitants of Earth were cars and not people, which is really funny. Cause so he named himself after a car. Yeah. Already. Just the name of a guy. One of the main characters is already funny. And there's a P on the cover. But they basically escape Earth right before the Vogans. Vogans? V Vogans? Vogans? 
es- like destroy it with large yellow somethings, and they live and meet the president of the galaxy, who's just a figurehead, who then steals the improbability drive spaceship, the Heart of Gold, which is made to do stuff. But it turns out, this, okay, here, spoiler alert, pause it and move on a little bit. I'm, I'm actually telling you when there's a spoiler this time. Boop, scoot over, scoot the bar, scoot it, scoot is scootily poop. The Earth is actually just a giant computer program to find out the meaning of life, which is... You're gonna have to find out the meaning of life by yourself or by getting the book and reading it. T. Okay, I hope I just inspired you to maybe spend some of your day reading and learning things and have some, some quality daytime to yourself now. And I'm sorry we haven't done anything in a while. I did upload a video previously, kind of recently, but um, Butter has got a new channel if you really only like Spider-Man, and you're on this channel, it's called The Amazing Spider-Geek. Yeah. Amazing spider But if you still like our little vlogs, vlogs, I don't know if it sounded like I said vlogs, but I said vlogs, kind of funny, maybe, maybe, maybe our vlogs are funny? They're supposed to be... But yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of, uh, I don't know where I was going with that, but whatever. If you like our skits, our vlogs, our upcoming parodies, which are going to be super long and amazing, which we're actually going to film next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend, it might be next weekend by the time this video goes out, but I don't care, next weekend from right now, it'll be great and awesome. It'll be so fantastic. As usual, I appreciate you viewing. I appreciate you viewers. You viewers are appreciated. Thank you very much. I would like to give you a high five. Just slap the screen. Don't break your computer. I'm not liable for any damage you're doing to your computer by slapping it. But high five! Woo, if you really liked this series and want more five sects reviews, just tell me in the comments and I'll do more like TV shows and movies and music maybe and magazines. Not magazines because I don't read magazines, but yeah! It'll be great. Bye.